Okay, Bitcoin correcting now. If so, what's the target? Can we go to 34K or lower? What's basically, what, what's the downside on Bitcoin? Okay, great question. Um, conveniently, I, I, I have an answer. Okay, so obviously I'm tracking this every day for our customers. Okay, so this is a Bitcoin chart. This is a Bitcoin four hour chart. All right. So obviously, since this is short term, anybody who's maybe watching this later on YouTube, it may be dated because it's a short term chart. This is how I'm thinking about Bitcoin January 10th, Sunday. If Bitcoin is below 38K, I'm using 38K as like a pivot. It's, it's actually worked rather well. So if Bitcoin's above 38K, then you can be bullish and expect Bitcoin to go up. If Bitcoin is below 38K, you want to be careful and you might expect Bitcoin to go down. Now, if Bitcoin does go down and you know, if there is any such thing as Bitcoin going down anymore, I don't know because they're draining all the supply out. But if somebody says something negative about Bitcoin, I think the support is at 32K. Okay, 32K, if you look right here, that was the last big battle between the bulls and the bears before it launched to 40K. So it can, you know, it can revisit that hot zone. So even if you're watching this two weeks from now, 38K, if Bitcoin's above that, it's probably going to 40 or 45. If it's below 38K, you have to be careful of the flush, right? Like bull markets will flash crash. And then when bull mar when people get used to the flash crash, like, you know, we had it Thanksgiving, we had it Christmas. I think we skipped New Year's, but we had it this morning. So this morning was all the way down, all the way back, and now it's down again. So you had three flash crashes, and then frequently when everyone goes, oh, it was just a flash crash, oh, don't worry about it. That's when you got to look out, especially with politicians hitting the tape. Again, some spooky person that we couldn't see shot a civilian trying to go through a door inside the U.S. Capitol. Not the Capitol, not some building in Fallujah, in a war zone. The U.S. Capitol. Americans in tears watching on television. These things can change the way people feel about markets. Value is a perception Crypto, bonds, equities, foreign exchange, it's not a video game. It's not Xbox. Even though there's computers and AI and algorithms, at the end of the day, human beings need to make some sort of decision as to whether or not they're going to buy and sell. So can 32K happen? Yes. Can we have a 15 to 20 day blowout in crypto? Absolutely. Now, am I bearish? No. Do I want to have cash ready in case there's a dip? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because if there's a big dip or blowout on political uncertainty, war, oh, my God, from Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, or Janet Yellen, I want to buy the dip. The only question is, how big is the dip? I sense it's going to be a little bit bigger than it has been, or it could last longer. You, know, you could have this like slow slump because you know people FOMO'd in. And the only way to have a healthy bull market, unfortunately, is to sort of hurt anybody who FOMO'd in and bought at any price because they were upset because they missed it. I get it. You're upset. That's why we have this live stream. We, 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 had, we used to have a segment called Crypto Therapy. We stopped having the segment because the whole show's Crypto Therapy now. <laughs> Right. Yep. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah, 32 K that's the level I'm looking at. If you were looking to buy Bitcoin and you missed it and you'd like a juicy buying opportunity, then I think that's the juicy buying opportunity. All right. 
Thank you, Bill. Uh, that was great.